Hey guys, my name is Jason with Mount Baker Mining and Metals, and we get asked all the time about how long does it take to change our hammer mill screens. And so to, for today's video, I'm going to change the screen and show you what tools to use, and we'll time it so you can see in real time how long it takes. So uh, I want to walk through the tools first. All the bolts I'm going to be loosening are three quarter inch, so I'm just going to use a socket and an end wrench. And then we have a, uh, a three pound hammer and a piece of steel stock that's going to help us take the screen out. And then this tool can be very useful as well. It's just a little pry bar. So I'm going to take my phone, get a stopwatch going. So we'll start our time and we'll see how long it takes me. The first step is going to be taking the lid off. I got to loosen these four bolts and then we're going to pull the lid with the forklift. Okay, so now that we have the head off, I'm going to loosen the armor bolts that hold the screen in. And there's eight bolts. Four on this side and four on this side, and when those are loose, I can pound on the screen here with my hammer and roll it out with the pry bar. Okay, now all the armor uh, bolts are loose, so now I'm going to use this piece of steel stock and a hammer and just tap the edge of the screen down and it'll roll the screen out and I may have a helper come in and help me pry up the screen from this side with the pry bar. Okay, now the old screen's out, I'm going to put the new screen in and do the process in reverse. Okay, now that the screen's in, I'm going to put the rubber gasket back on and tighten down the armor nuts. Okay, so now the four armor bolts are tight, or the eight armor bolts are tight. So I'm going to put the lid back on and tighten down the four bolts that hold the lid on, and the screen replacement will be complete. Okay, so we finished our screen change, and it took me 10 minutes and 39 seconds. So thanks for watching our videos. Uh, I encourage you, if you have questions about our machines or would like to see another tutorial like this, please email us or give us a call. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.